<laughs> okay guys, welcome to the Camo Kiwi. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transform one of these ordinary uh, 308 shells to one of these 308 whistle. So, well, let's get into the making. Okay, so what you're going to need for this project is a saw. Preferably one that cuts metal, like this one. And obviously the bullet shell. This is a 308. A better one to use, which I've used in the past, is 223. Makes a higher pitch. And a file. And a vise. So, we'll get to making this little whistle. Okay, so to make this whistle, what you want to do you want to get your um, bullet shell you want to just cut just where the um, shell starts to slope in and then go straight again so you just put that in the vise and then uh, cut it off so you cut it off all the way down to cut it flat like this I've already done this one so then you're left with two pieces you're left with this and this now I've already sanded this one down so I just chucked a piece of sandpaper in there and just like a pencil and then the next step is you want to get one of these um, files and I would find I find it easier if you just put it in the clamp like this and then what you want to do is you want to come down the um, shell casing, whatever, down to about there, so where my finger is, and then file it. Okay, so I've gone and used my file and a piece of sandpaper and I've filed that down so it's like a little beak kind of thing it was a bit rough but you get the gist of it and then what you want to do is you want to get a piece of dowel or dowel to put in there and you got to cut it three quarters of the way up okay so I've gone ahead and cut down um, some stick because I couldn't find any dowel so I used the piece of stick and I swear I've cut like hundreds of these little teeny tiny pieces of wood just to get the perfect size and shape to fit into my little whistle here and I finally found the perfect one and it is loud as man like my ears are still ringing from before when I was testing it to see if it worked. I'm just smoothing off the edges of the brass casing. So listen to this. The camera will probably not pick it up that well because it's so loud. My ears are ringing. Ah, that is crazy. So if you're like uh, hunting or whatnot, you take that with you, and if you get lost in the forest or something, um, and there's and you're trying to call for help, someone's going to hear this, I swear. And like, if you know Morse code, and then you can do it like a Morse code whistle. That is probably the best whistle that I've made. It's, that's just crazy. That, that really hurts my ears. So, yeah. Okay, so there you have it. The 308 whistle effective and really loud so see you next time